Good morning and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mare. Here we are on day 324 and I'm continuing the story of buried treasure. Now you might remember Pops, he's about to die and he knows it and he's already gathered his children around him and he's given them their instruction about working together and how important that is in order to stay strong. And then he tells them that there's buried treasure on the property. Somewhere on the property, he's buried a treasure. And it's up to them to find it. But he makes it all through the night. Everybody's wakening in the morning. They gather around him and he looks into each one of their faces. And he says again, find that treasure. His words are weak, quiet, almost a whisper. Find the treasure. It will bring you all your joy, he says. And with this, his last word spoken, he breathes his last breath and passes. Now the whole family, they mourn for quite some time, as you might imagine. And there was a, quite a memorial service held for him because he had been generous to so many people through time. Many, many, many people who lived in that countryside and the villages close by, they all came out to bid him that fond farewell when the destroyer of joys takes our lives away. Well, after some time, the children, they kind of got back to their business and the youngest daughter was still there in, on the property and at the house. And everyone could see that she was having a hard time dealing with everything by herself. It was much more than one person should have to deal with. Acreage, orchards, gardens, animals, and so the younger brother, he said, I, I, I'll come back. He came back with his wife and, and they started living in the house with her and there was plenty of room and he ended up renting out the house that he'd had there that was on the outskirts of town and setting up a situation where he could train horses right there on property where he had grown up. Now, there was one afternoon where everybody gathered together, all the children, with their families, eldest son. Well, he had a child on the way, as did the eldest sister. And anyway, they all gathered together and they started talking and they said, you know, father was adamant that we look for this buried treasure. It was on all their minds, and they thought we should. But how do we begin? It was a fairly large property, acres and acres. They thought, why don't we start at the corner where the crossroads are? That would be a good place, and we can work from there. We'll radiate out, and little by little, over time, we can cover the whole piece of property. I mean, it may take us years, but... Certainly, in this way, we'll be making our way closest to where it probably is. The eldest brother was speaking. He thought, well, certainly, Dad would have buried this treasure somewhere where it's not going to be too hard to find. And the crossroads were very close to the house and the barn and all the buildings that had been constructed on the property. And so it was decided that is what would happen. There were plenty of tools to begin with. And so they decided to meet on a weekend when none of them were required to be doing anything other than spending time doing whatever it is they were doing. And they began to dig right there in that corner. They didn't dig deep, only a foot or so into the ground. With, well, 
seven of them working. It wasn't long before they dug up and turned over quite a bit of ground. The next day they did the same thing. Now, they did have an uncle, the brother of their father, quite a number of years younger, who lived close by. He was quite the green thumb, loved to grow things, just as his brother had. In fact, the two of them, they shared all kinds of things, seeds, cuttings from trees, bulbs, knowledge, and time. They'd helped each other out quite a bit. On that weekend, Uncle was coming by. And as he came by, he saw well, all those young people working away, digging up the land. He stopped, he said, what are you guys doing? This is, this looks great, looks like you're getting ready to plant some things. Now, they did not want the news that there was buried treasure on their property to get around, so they didn't share with Uncle what they were actually doing. They said, yeah, yeah, we're just thinking a beautiful place to follow in Father's footsteps and do a little growing. The oldest sister, she said, do you have any suggestions what we should plant? He said, well, sure I do. I'll tell you what, let me go back and I'll, I'll gather some of uh, some seeds together and bring them, bring them. If you need any help with how to plant them, I'll, I'll be right here to help. <laughs> well, after he left, everybody looked at each other and they were like, oh man, what are we into now? We're going to have to pretend we're interested in farming. But they went on digging, didn't think much about it, but before long, here was uncle coming up the road and he had with him a bucket on either side that he was carrying. We'll stop the story there. Find out what happens next with old Unc. All right, have a good rest of your day or evening.